hey, ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweep, a panda called Suit, and little cousin Scampy too. There'll be fun galore with the terrible four. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Aftershave? Pardon? Aftershave, yes. Hang on a minute, just a minute. I, I think it's in here somewhere. Uh, yep, just a minute. Aftershave. Tick that off, Sooty, okay? And Tick it off. Hairbrush? Hairbrush? Hairbrush, hairbrush, hairbrush. Um, oh, it's here. There we are. Hairbrush. Tick that off, Sooty. Tick it off. Oh, hello there. Hey, listen, it's nothing to do with the fact that you've just arrived, but actually, I'm just leaving. All right. You don't have to rub it in, Matthew. No, all right. Perhaps I'd better explain. You see, I'm going away for the weekend, and this lot, well, uh, they're not very pleased about it. <laughs> Can't you come with me? Sweep, for the hundredth time, no, you cannot come with me. This is my weekend, arranged by me, for me, OK? You lot are going to have to stay here. If you want to go away for a weekend on your own, then all you have to do is organise it. You see, that's the difference between me and them. I'm just so organised and they're disorganised. Uh, Matthew? Yes, sir. Ten seconds to ten. What? Oh, yes, I'm leaving at ten o'clock precisely. Three, two, one. There we are. Ten o'clock precisely. Now, that's what I call being organised. See you later. Hey, ho. Sooty and co. Everybody say hello, hello. The sooty and sweet and dear little Sue, a little girl. Well, can... there we are. He's gone. <laughs> you thought he was meant to be organised? <laughs> well, he thinks he is sweet, but the truth is, I've never known anyone less organised. Got the key, Sooty? Hi, it's me again. I don't suppose anybody's seen my. Uh... Ah! The keys! Can't go without them. Thanks very much. Bye! Bye! Hey, ho, sooty and co. Everybody say hello. Uh, phone, please, sweep. <laughs> Thank you. In the nick of time, too. <sighs> Forgotten something, Matthew? Well, no, not exactly, Sue. It's just that I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, ho, sooty and co. Everybody say hello. The sooty and sweet and dear. This oh, that man, he couldn't organise a jam sandwich. I've just organised myself a jam sandwich. Look at this. This is a life. Hey, do you know what these boats are called? They're called narrow boats, and I love them. This is where I'm going to spend my weekend away, on board this little beauty, all on my own. This is the reward you get for being organised, and you could learn a lesson from this. It pays to be organised. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Forgot to put the jam and the butter on. <laughs> Silly me. Never mind. The ducks will enjoy them. Oh, what were we talking about? Yes, being organised. Now, you see, that is the basic difference between me and uh, that lot back there. Because I am so organised and they are just so disorganised. Now, that's what I call being organised. We've got our entire stock of brass ornaments cleaned, polished, counted and priced up in no time. <laughs> That's because we each had a job. You're right, Sweep. Scampy put the polish on, you rubbed the polish in, Sooty took the polish off with his duster, and I put the price tags on. We've done a good job here. Um, can you get the portable phone, please, Sooty? Who am I going to ring? No one, Sweep, but Matthew's been gone for over an hour now, and I thought that... Ah, there we are. Ahem. Yes, Matthew? Oh, just a wild guess. Now, what's the problem? <gasps> oh, no. Really? <laughs> He's run out of fuel. <laughs> now, now, now just, just calm down, Matthew. Yes, now, where are you? Yes, 
Yes, I know it, yes. Just by Portland Basin. Yes. Yes, I'll get Sooty and Sweet to bring it straight away. Well, you heard him. Run out of fuel. You'd better go and sort him out. <laughs> And so, because I had run out of fuel, which wasn't my fault, by the way, somebody must have come along and taken the fuel out of the tank. I mean, it was full. Anyway, Sooty and Sweep were now on their way. All right, very funny, sweet, very funny. Listen, anybody can run out of fuel. <laughs> you thought I was meant to be so well organised? <laughs> well, actually, I am incredibly well organised. I can't help it if somebody comes along and steals my fuel. <laughs> what, Sidney? What do you want? What is it? You want to have a go at driving the boat? No, you can't have a go at driving the boat. <laughs> please, <laughs> never mind, please. Go on, back to the camper. Go on, the pair of you. Skedaddle, go on. And it's no good you feeling sorry for them, because if they want to have a weekend aboard a boat, then Jolly will organise it like I did. Oh, hang on, don't forget the fuel can. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Susie, but I was just saying to this lot that if you want to go on a boat for the weekend, then I'm afraid you will just have to organise it for yourself. Where are the, uh, where are the bungee thingies? Ah. Right, the can's strapped down safely, so everything is shipshape and Bristol fashion. Off you go, boys. Have a nice drive. Drive safely. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Bye. And so now, it's back to the jolly old boat. <laughs> what have I done with the, uh, with the keys? And I went to the camper and I reached up for the bungee things. Woo! They're on the camper roof! Go! Hello, boys. Now, don't bother to get out. <coughs> Why? <coughs> because I've just had Captain Organisation <coughs> on the phone. Apparently, he's left the boat keys. <coughs> Where? <coughs> well, on your roof, he says. Oh, there they are. Drop them, Scampy. Thank you. Well, here you are, sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, sorry, Sooty, but can you take them to Captain Organisation? Mm. <coughs> Will you let go of Sooty, what came over you? You wanted to have a drive of the boat? Well, I'm sorry, but you can't. This is my boat, I hired it, and I'm going to drive it, OK? <coughs> no, Sweep, you cannot come. <coughs> what? You'd lend a hand? <coughs> Sooty, I think I'm quite capable of taking this boat on my own, thank you very much, so you two can just <coughs> hop it. Go on, <coughs> off you go. And if you want to hire a boat, then you can jolly well organise it. Like I did. It's a life on the ocean waves, a life on the ocean waves. Da 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 What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? A lie in the morning. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. I'm in that business with a can. Anyway, never mind. Fortunately, I had a towel handy. This is what comes of being organised, of course. And now you must excuse me because I have a lock gate to open. <laughs> Hold it, boys. 
Let's hold it. Mm. Why? Mm. It's Captain Organisation. He's just been on the phone again. <laughs> What's he forgotten this time? Mm. Oh, nothing, sweet. Mm. Oh, will you stop doing that, Scampy? He just can't open the locked gates. Will you go and help him? Scampy, mm. will you please get down off that roof at once? It's not exactly my fault that the wretched thing's stuck, is it? I mean, normally, locks like this are no problem at all to um, an experienced boater like me. But this one, well, I just can't shift it. So, look, I really am grateful that you've come back. Really, honestly, I am. I'll count one, two, three. We'll all push together, and that should do the trick. Agree? After three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Push! 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 Whoa, whoa, stop, whoa. This, this is getting us nowhere. And I think, I think I know the reason why not. Because your feet aren't touching the ground. No wonder I couldn't feel the difference. <laughs> you think Susie could open the gate on his own? Don't be ridiculous, of course he couldn't. You couldn't open that gate on your own, could you, Susie? You can. Of course, when Sooty said, on his own, he didn't really mean on his own. He meant on his own with the help of the camper van. Now, this is a different matter. This is what I call being organised. OK, Sooty, hit it! Do you want the good news or the bad news? Well, the bad news is it took me half an hour to wash all that mud off my shirt. But the good news is that we managed to get the lock gate open and finally we are once again on our way. And do you know something? I am loving it. Just loving it. Poor old Sooty and Sweep are so worn out with all that pushing that they've decided to have a little sleep down in the cabin. Actually, I'm a bit tired too, so... Uh, I'm just looking for a place to stop and moor up so I can have 40 winks. Ah, now that looks like the ideal place. Excuse me. <laughs> there we are. A double sheep shank granny overhand loop. That should do the trick. So here we are, all moored up. Actually, Sooty and Sweet were very, very helpful. They went off exploring in a little wood over there. Couldn't have been more helpful. So now it's time for me to have those 40 winks I was talking about. <laughs> so there was I having a nice little snooze, and there was this other boat coming towards me, and it was flying a flag. Flying a flag? That's a funny thing for a canal boat to be doing. What sort of flag is it? <sighs> The skull and crossbones, the Jolly Roger. But this flag can only mean one thing, a pirate ship. Ha-ha, me mateys, be lay there in a vast. Shiver me timbers and splice me mizzen mast. Oh, sing me a song of salty canals with water lap in the bank. It feels like a laugh, so I find someone daft and I'll make him walk the plank. Ha-ha, ha-ha, ha-ha. Ah, me hearties, what do we have here? A land blubber, I'll be bound. I'll just pop a little warning shot across his bows and see if we can't make him sit up. <laughs> what? what was that? <laughs> well, that made him sit up all right. And now let's see if we can make him sit down again. Ha ha ha! I can't believe this! It's a... it's a... it's a pirate! Car! Forget the cannon, my dearios! Tis time for... the splat gun! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! One, two, three! Ha! Ha! Ha ha! 
I love my Splatgun so much, I'm going to share it with him. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I call being well and truly splattered. <laughs> Just a minute. This isn't funny. <laughs> I've got something in my eye. <laughs> Hello? Uh, look, uh, the, the game's over. Can't see, eh? Well, I suppose it'll save the need for a blindfold. Stand by me, hearties, to board the enemy. I heard that. What do you what do you mean, board the enemy? What do you mean? Huh? Well, it's like this, land blubber. Oh. I'm a pirate of the high canals, oh. and what I'm a doing is making you walk the jolly old gangplank. Organize your way out of that, Captain. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> now get ye moving before I splats you again. No, 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 no. Please, please don't do that. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> it, what is it? What? Who dares to interrupt me when I'm just about to plank someone? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, no. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. No. You have. That's it, Sooty. Well done, Sooty. <laughs> You're a clever little bear. Well done. <laughs> oh. Get him, Sooty. Go on. Get him again. Good boy. Go on, Sooty. Go on. Splat him. Yeah. 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 What's, what, what's going on? <coughs> I was asleep. <coughs> I was dreaming. <coughs> dreaming? <coughs> Just a minute, just a minute. You mean, you mean uh, I've been actually having a dream? You mean there are no pirates? Really? Well, Sooty, I, I don't care if it was a dream. You are the hero of the day. I'm very grateful that you came to my rescue, and because I am so grateful, I'm going to let you choose what we do for the rest of the day. Now we can go wherever you want and do whatever you want. Just you say the word. Really? <clears throat> Sooty says he wants to go somewhere where there's water, <coughs> sand, ice cream, and a pier. Sweep, go and cast off at the front. <coughs> Sooty, go and take the tiller. Ha <laughs> ha! Water, sand, ice cream, and a pier. They don't call me Captain Organization for nothing. Cast off! <laughs> wanted to go somewhere that had a pier, didn't they? So here we are in Wigan, Lancashire, which is one of the only places on the canals to actually have a pier. Well, it must have a pier, because look, it says so. See? Wigan Pier. So, we found the pier. I've got the ice cream. Oh, and uh, as for the sand, look over there. <sighs> Happy now, boys? So am I. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Look at this. I've got a bucket and a spade. Oh, I do like buckets and spades. Do you know, I haven't done this for donkey years. <laughs> Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Poe. Every 
Everybody say hello! There's Sooty and Sweep, a panda called Sue, and little cousin Scampy too. There'll be fun galore with the terrible four. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. £40.80 plus £20.60 plus... Oh, hello there. Do you know something? I've said it before and I will say it again. Running a business like Sooty & Co is very, very hard work. And do you know the most difficult thing of all? This. Oh, sorry, Sooty, I didn't mean that you're the most difficult thing of all. I was actually meaning the paperwork. Well, look at this. Invoices, bills, columns of figures to add up. You lend a hand. Well, that's very nice of you, Sooty. Mind you, mind you, you are a partner in the business, so you should really help. What do I want you to do? Well, uh, look, I tell you what, you could deal with that column over there, OK, that, that pile of papers, and I'll do, I'll do this, OK? Off you go. Right, £40, 80 plus, 20... What, what are you staring at? You need your glasses. Do you? <laughs> he needs his glasses. Well, they're here, anyway. Here we are, put, this, put those on. I don't know why he wears them, there's no glass in them, anyway. Never mind waving, just get on with it. That, that's yours, OK? Off you go. So, £40.80 plus £20.60. Sooty, I cannot see what I'm doing. My pile's more interesting than your pile. It is not more interesting. They're both boring. All paperwork is boring. Now, just... You want to do this lot? No, 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 hang on. Just, no, Sooty. No, 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 no. This is my paperwork. No, give it back to me, please. Please. Would you, would you let, let, let go? Look, I'm going to have to give you an easier job. You obviously can't cope with this. Oh, I'll tell you what you could do. Something easier, yes? Why don't you take all of this waste paper and get rid of it? It's just rubbish, all right? So I don't care what you do with it, just get rid of it. Understand? Right, take it away. Go on. And now, perhaps, I can get on with some work. Now, where's my pen? £40.80. That's £20.60. Wait, just, 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 just a minute. Just, just a minute. Come back here. Come, come here. Climb up. Listen, Sooty, when I said get rid of the waste paper, I didn't mean fly the Atlantic with it. I just wanted you to get rid of it. Just screw it up and throw it away. OK? Got that? Good. Right, off you go. <clears throat> Maybe now I can get on with my paperwork. Excuse me. Stop, 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 stop. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Climb up. Climb up here. Listen, it seems obvious to me that you can't deal with paper in sheet form, so we're going to have to use... We'll use the shredder, OK? What? How does it work? I showed you how it worked last week. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'll show you again. The shredder. Now, it's a little bit noisy, but it's well worth it. Switch it on. You get a piece of paper and put it into the top like this. OK? There we are. And through it goes, it's completely unreadable, completely unusable. There we are, fully shredded. Let's do it again. See, that's how you do it. It's quite good fun, this actually, isn't it? You put a piece of paper in the top and down it goes, completely minced up. Got that? Right, you can do that and I'll get on with my paper... My paper... My... My... Oh, no! My paperwork! It's taken me ages to... Sellotapes. Wait, help, help me, don't just stand there. Oh, no. <coughs> what, Sweep? <coughs> What's that noise? Well, unless my ears deceive me, Sweep, it's someone knocking on a door. <coughs> Go and have a look. Surprise, sweep. <laughs> it's a lady. <laughs> Shall we go and let her in? <laughs> um, what time is it, sweep? <laughs> Five to nine? <laughs> oh, well, in that case, let her wait. <laughs> the public are all the same, think they own you. Think that if they call the shots, you'll jump through the hoop. 
Well, she can jolly well wait there until we're good and ready to open the shop. And I don't care how much she knocks. Or how loud. Hello? Hello? Pardon? Pardon? What do you mean, pardon? Open the door. Go away. Go away. Why? Oh. God. All that work down the shredder. And I'll tell you something else, that's not the only thing that's in shreds either. My nerves are in shreds. And do you know the reason why? Sooty and Sweep and Sue and little cousin Scampy. Their attitude towards the customers that come into the shop is absolutely appalling. Anyway, I've decided to do something about it. A touch of staff training. You know, uh, you know Connie? Connie Crichton, that's the lady that's on the stage shows with me. Well, she's been on this course, you see, to learn all about this staff training. And she's going to come along this morning to give us a few tips. Actually, she should have been here by now. God, it's come to something, hasn't it, when the person doing your staff training arrives late. What? You actually showed the woman this sweep? <coughs> Go away! <coughs> but why? I'll tell you why, Matthew. Why? Because the shop was still shut. <coughs> she had no right to be banging on the door like that. But you mustn't speak to people like that. Well... You don't speak to people like that. <coughs> well, you don't speak. <coughs> Look, I'm very worried about your attitude towards the public, which is why I've got somebody coming here today to do a spot of staff training. <coughs> Has she got blonde hair? <coughs> well... Yes, she has, actually, sweet. <coughs> she's not coming. <coughs> How do you know she's not coming? <coughs> you showed her the go-away sign. <coughs> well, there she... Sweet, that was Connie! Connie? <coughs> yes, Connie Crichton, it wasn't her you told her go away, was it? <coughs> you didn't recognise her? <coughs> oh, for goodness sake, you lot. You've just got no manners, that's your problem. <coughs> what do you have to say for yourselves? Come on, what do you have to say? Really? <laughs> Matthew is a wobble bottom. See? No manners. Oh, that's just not true, Matthew. You are only joking. Well, I'm not joking, Sue. You have got no manners. I mean, look, look, for example. See this toast rack? <laughs> Who took the last piece of toast in the toast rack? <laughs> Sooty took it. Well, there you are, you see. No manners. If you got any manners at all, Sooty, you would have offered that piece of toast around before you took it. Did someone else want it? Well, I didn't. <laughs> and neither did you. Yes, but that isn't the point. You see, I may have wanted it. I can have it. No, 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 no. I don't actually want it, Sooty. I'm welcome. No, 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 no. I don't really want it. It's mine. Listen, Sooty, that is not the point. <laughs> <But> <laughs> well, it looks as if you've got it now. Oh, it? look at that. <laughs> just, just a minute. That'll, that'll be Connie. That, don't forget best manners, OK? And first impression stick. Uh, coming, coming. Oh, oh. Connie, it is you! Oh, how can I ever apologise enough? Oh, I'm no sorry. Need. No need, no need. Scampy let me in. Hey, and he's given me a bag of delicious looking sweeties by way of apology. Scampy? Yeah, and if you'll excuse me, I think I shall just try one. Uh, no, no, no. I, if I was you, Connie, mm, actually, yeah. no, 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 I, I, I really cannot recommend that you actually mm. eat one of the sweeties. Mm. Mm. Oh, 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 a birdie, a birdie! Hang on a minute, she's eating one of Cousin Scampy's joke peppered hot sweets. So she's doing something quickly. Connie, put your chin down. Put your chin down quickly. Put it down. Now open your mouth. Ah! That's, 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 that's better. That'll be, that'll be much, much better. I really have oh. Connie, are you all right? Are you all right? I think I'll live. We haven't got off to a very good start, have we? No, I'm sorry. Look, oh, sh dear. shall we start all over again? Shall we? Oh, I suppose so. OK. Hi, Connie. Yeah. Hi. It's good. Oh, for goodness oh. sake! We're oh. stuck together! Yeah, I'm sorry, Cut. Sorry, oh. Cut. It's, it's a jam yeah. on the hand from earlier on. What I'm sorry. What was that you said about first impression <gasps> sticking, Matthew? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. oh, look at that. Jam all over my hand. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, OK, oh. I'll ask it. But hold your hand up, Connie. Yes, hold yes, your hand up. That's it. That's all right. You've done it now. You've done it now. That's enough. That's enough. Look, can we just get down to the business in hand, please? Yes, yes. I think you'll find that strawberry jam is the business in your hand. And that's enough for you, young lady. Look, I know you all think of me as just good old Auntie Connie. Yes, we do. But I've spent a long time looking out to this staff training business. Right, now, please, will you pay attention? Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to walk up to this counter and yeah. pretend to be a customer. Right, yes. <laughs> and I want to see how you act towards customers, right? Now, you can go one at a time. Sooty, you're first, right? And okay. the rest of you, shoo, 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 off, shoo. Off you go, off you go. Oh, right, jolly good. OK, ready, Sooty? Service? Service? Excuse me, young man. Uh, Sooty, look, she's talking to you. She wants you to serve her. That's Why don't better. I do it? Well, look, I don't, I'm not here to serve it. She wants you to serve her. Put the comic away. Sorry, Connie. Thank you. Right, now, I want you to come up with some suggestions for something that would be suitable for my little grandson. What? You didn't know that she had a grandson? Matthew, I haven't got a grandson. I know. I am me. just pretending. I am pretending to be a grumpy customer. Yes, right? exactly. Yes, exactly. You're doing a very good job as well, Connie. Well, thank you. Now then, <clears throat> this is absolutely ridiculous. I demand better service. Now, young man, I want you to come up with something suitable for my grandson. And when you do, I shall want a full demonstration of the product. Right? A full demonstration. Don't just look at me. You heard what she said. She wants you to think of something for her grandson, and then she wants you to go and get it, and then she wants a full demonstration. Correct. A full demonstration. Go on. Apparently he's gone for something. Is he a, oh. a boisterous little chap? You're oh, going to I should say so. Yeah. Oh, really? What's, could be right up his street. Let... <gasps> Excellent. Oh, no. It's the water pistol again. And now for the full what? demonstration. What? Well, no, no, no! Oh, no. no. Oh, <laughs> Give it to oh, me. Oh. Look, I'm sorry, Connie, but you did ask for a full demonstration. I don't know how to apologise. Really, I don't. Well, you could start by getting me a towel. A towel? It's yes. a towel. There's one down here. There oh, you are, Connie, a towel. Thank listen, you. Listen, listen. Do, do you want to just, you know, call this whole thing off? We could do that. Call it C off. Certainly not. No? I've spent a lot of time on this staff training course, and I'll train this lot if it kills me. And it probably will, too. Mm. Right, where's the next assistant? Uh. Well, uh, go and get Sue. Go, on, go, go down there. Sue, could you come? Oh, there she is. Oh, right. yes, yes. What uh, is it? Uh, now, Sue, I'm going to pretend to be a customer and I want you to serve me. Well, you can want till you're blue in the face. What? I'm not serving you. Not serving me? Well, why on earth not? Because it's staff tea break time. Come on, Matthew. This position is now closed. Oh, no. Position closed? I suppose that means you're all going off for a cup of tea and you're going to leave me here. Look, I'm sorry, Connie. I'll see what I can do. I just... Sooty, will you come up here? Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's coming. Come, come up here. Listen, it's staff tea break time and Connie doesn't have anything to drink. Do you think you could just get something for it? Just anything? What sort of thing? Well, I don't know. I mean, just something that's warm and wet, I suppose. I mean, that would do, wouldn't it, Connie? Anything, yeah. really. I mean, I don't mind if it isn't warm, as long as it's wet. You can fix that. Well, apparently he can fix that. No, 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 no! <laughs> ah! 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 Connie! Why did I have to open my big mouth? No. Can we just all relax? Yes. You've had your tea, yes. and I'm more or less dried off. Good. So can we get down to some staff training? But of course. Come on, where's the other assistant? Uh, well, she's gone to get a bath towel in case you have another little accident. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be necessary, Matthew. Why? Since, since I have got the dreaded water pistol now. Oh, uh -huh. right. Okay. Right. Now, I've put you on that side of the counter yes. and I'm going to stand here mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you how you should behave towards customers. You see, this is how we did it on the course, Matthew. Oh, I see. Right. And you are now about to witness a demonstration of perfect customer relations. Got you. Ah, and right on cue, a eh? customer. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, madam. What? Uh, good afternoon, madam. You're talking to me? Uh, yes, madam. Well, the name's Mo, Mo from Market, not Madam. Oh, Mo. Oh, of course.
course, Mo. Anything you say, Mo. You see, the customers always rush. Oh, out. is that so? Of course, madam. Oh, good. Well, in that case, you can split this fiver up for me. Now then, I want three pounds of fifties for the meter outside, a pound of tens for the phone, oh, and give us a pound of pennies for. Arcade. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm afraid that's not possible. Because, you see, it is company policy not to give customers mm. change. If you want change, there's a bank up the high street. Now, listen, uh, Matthew and Sutty always give me change. <laughs> Why can't you? Because, my good woman, I choose not to. <sighs> listen to me, banana brain. I am not your good woman. Banana brain? You can't call me banana brain. I'm not a banana brain. Yes, you are. And yes, I can, because you see, like you said, the customer is always right. Now then, I'm a customer and I'm in your shop and I am asking you to give me something. So give me what I am asking for. <laughs> Right. Now, as your staff trainer, I want you to take particular notice of this. Yes. A customer has just entered the shop. Yes, yes. Apart from the fact that she was at the end of the queue when brains were given out, she has asked for something, and it is my duty to give it to her. So, madam, I have great pleasure in giving you exactly what you have asked for. <laughs> <laughs> You were right, Sue. We did need the big bath tile after all. Mm. Especially when Mo started to fight back. Yes, I've never seen so much water. <laughs> but it ended up all right. <laughs> yes, Connie and Mo ended up the best of friends when they saw the funny side of it. Well, she did have a point, didn't she, Matthew? Oh, yes, Sue. I mean, you should always try to be polite to people. Mm. And, you, you know, Connie's little saying is one that we should all try and remember. The customer's always right. Patience, patience, you need patience. Patience. Think of the people who come in the shop and can't make their mind up. They dither about to think it's a wind up. Think of the business and don't lose your temper. Try to remember the customer's always right. Don't get yourself in a fight. You can tear out your hair, but the fact is still there. The customer's always right. And that is extremely good advice. Patience, patience, you need patience, patience. Think of the people who pick up a vase, then ask for another different shape and different colour. It would be easy to get in a temper. Always remember, the customer's always right. It's not easy to keep your cool Gracious But we deal with some fools Patience Sit down quietly on a stool Calm down Just remember these rules The customer's always right Don't get yourself in a fight but the fact is still there, the customer's always right. Now don't forget the simple rule, OK? The customer's always right. Don't get yourself in a fight. You can tear up your hair, but the fact is still there, the customer's always right. Well, we hope that you've all enjoyed this trip to Sooty & Co. If you have, Join us again soon, but until we see you again, we've got a message for you. All together now. Bye. <laughs> bye, 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 everybody. Bye bye. bye, bye. See you again soon. Bye, bye, everybody. Come on, Scampi, wave. Oh, you are waving. Come on, sweet, wave to everybody. Bye, bye. bye see bye. you again soon. Bye, bye.
Hey ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweep, a panda called Sue, and little cousin Scampy too. They'll be fun galore with the terrible four. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. He's lovely. Yes. Well, you may think he's lovely, sweet, but I don't. So please don't bring him anywhere near me. Please, please. What do you mean he wants to visit me? Don't be ridiculous, Sweep. Just take it away. He likes me, Sweep. That may well be so, but I don't like him, so just, just take him away. Would I like to stroke him? Ah, oh, no, I would not like to stroke him, Sweep. There are many things I would like to do with him, but stroking isn't one of them. He's nice, Sweep. He is not nice. He's repulsive. In fact, all spiders are repulsive. I hate spiders, and I'm not staying in the same room as it. Or you. I'm off. Ah! Oh, Sooty! Oh, don't you dare bring that thing anywhere near me. No, no, please. You know how much I hate spiders. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! oh, Matthew! God, listen to that noise. Like three elephants come through the ceiling if they're not careful. Mind you, at least it means they're playing nicely together. Nice to hear them having fun. <sighs> oh, dear, poor old Sue. She'd rushed off to the bathroom to escape, but Sooty and Sweep were one step ahead of her. They knew that that's where she would go, and they had rigged up a little surprise for her. <gasps> Listen to that. I knew there'd be tears before bedtime. I'd better go and sort them out. Look what I found when I was dusting over there. <laughs> what on earth is going on up here? What's all this noise about? Oh, Sue, what's the matter? What's wrong? It was sooty and sweet, Matthew. They were teasing me. Teasing you? Oh, what were they teasing you about, Sue? Oh, nothing, Matthew. It's all right. It's only me being silly. Yes, well, they shouldn't tease you. Teasing's not a nice thing to do, you know. Come on, Sue, cheer up, come on. I will in a minute, Matthew. I'm still a bit shaken up. Yeah, well, you're all right now, so let's have a, li a little smile. Come on, it's not like you to have a long face. Just a tiny little smile, just a tiny... Uh, actually, I've got something that will cheer you up. Really? Oh, yes, this will give you a good laugh. It's something I found in the shop earlier on, actually. Well, what is it? I want you to meet... Sydney the Spider! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Sue. Look, I made Sooty and Sweep apologise to you for frightening you like that. What? I made her scream much louder than you did. Well, yes, I know, but that's because I didn't realise that Sue had a phobia about spiders. You never said anything, Sue. Well, it's not the sort of thing you go around telling people about, is it? Hello, my name's Sue and I've got a thing about spiders. You feel so silly. Well, there's no need to feel silly about it, Sue. You know, people have phobias, fears and things about all sorts of things. Really? Oh, yes, phobias are very common. Has Sue got a phobia about mice? Well, I don't think so. Have you, Sue? No, no, no. It's only spiders that give me the heebie-jeebies. Actually, I quite like mice. Um, why do you ask, Sooty? Because it's time to feed Morris. But who's... Oh, Morris. Morris is Sooty's pet mouse. God, bring, bring him up. <laughs> uh, well, I see you've got Morris's food. That isn't my breakfast, is it? Let's, let's pop him down in his food dish, show it. Pop, pop him down. He doesn't seem to want to get down. I think you'll just have to be happy to put, leave them on your head, actually, so look. <laughs> oh, I can't understand anybody not liking mice. Well, no, neither can I, Sue, but as a, a matter of fact, lots of people are just as frightened of mice as you are of spiders. Let's put him down there. Oh, there's the bell, there's the bell. Customers, excuse me, I've got business to attend to. Only me, Mo from Market. Oh. Anyone serving round here? Yes, hello, Mo. Do you know, for one glorious moment, I thought we'd actually got a customer. Well, I am a customer. Yes, but it'd be fair, in all the time you've been coming to this shop, you've never actually bought one thing. Mind you, neither has anybody else. Ah, but today all that's going to change. Today it's going to be spend, spend, spend. I think I've heard that before. Hey, look, real money. Sweet, come and lend a hand. Ah, right, we've got, to, we've got to chat Mo up. We've got to jolly her along. She's in the mood to spend. We've got to make her spend more. Uh, so, Mo, <laughs> we were just, you know, having a little chat in the back, a bit of a laugh there, talking about Sue and her phobias. Phobias? Yes. 
don't talk to me about phobias. Why are you frightened of spiders as well? Spiders? Yes. No, I couldn't care less about spiders. But I do have a phobia, and it's a bad one. <laughs> oh, something that frightens me to death. Something that if you were to place in front of me, yes. well... I'd scream the place down. Well, that is fascinating. That's fascinating, isn't it, Sweep? <coughs> Hang on, Sooty's coming with his little friend, and I'm sure he'll be fascinated as well. So, go on, Mo. What is oh, it that frightens oh, you so much? Oh, oh, God, it's making me shiver just thinking about it. Oh, but the things that I hate the most are... Mice! Oh, come on, come on, Sooty, cheer up. Come on, come on, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you want to know that Mo had a phobia about mice, were you? <laughs> hmm? It was a very upsetting experience. Well, don't worry, because, you know, she'll recover. Oh, it was very upsetting for Morris. Oh, I see. <coughs> what, what, sweet, what? <coughs> Has everybody got a phobia? <coughs> well, um, that's a very good question, actually, sweet. I, I really don't know the answer to that, but I guess that everybody's got something somewhere that they're afraid of. <coughs> What? What am I afraid of? Well, actually, uh, I do have a phobia, but I'm not going to tell you two what it is. <coughs> You'll guess. <coughs> well, you can guess as much as you like, sweet, but you won't get it. <coughs> what, Sooty? You know what I suffer from? Go on, then. What do I suffer from? Go on. Hydrophobia. <coughs> Hydrophobia? That's the fear of water, isn't it? Silly, it says I suffer from hydrophobia. The fear of water. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, no, no, that's the water pistol. Now, put that down. That's full of water. That Put it down, OK? Just put that down. <laughs> I am afraid of water. I am not afraid of water. Put that... <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Now the tables are turned because I've got it. Now, let's see whether he's afraid of water. Are you afraid? You see, he's run away. He can't take the... Uh, uh, no, put that down. Put that down. That's, that's the garden hose. Put that... <laughs> I am afraid of water. Look, I am not... <laughs> all right, all right, I am afraid of water. G give me that! And, uh... Oh, hello, Scampy, welcome. So you think that's funny, do you? Hmm. Well, look, if it's that funny, then you get the job of going to get the cloths to clear all the water up. Go on, off you go, Scampy. Go and get some cloths. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Well, I don't know, he seems to be... He's shaking. He's terrified. Um, I think I've just worked out what Scampy's phobia is. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> He's afraid of work. Now, go on, Scampy, go and get the cloths. Go on. And you can get me a towel as well. Oh, honestly, that, thank you very much. Come on, then, <coughs> Sweep. Tell me, what are you afraid of? What's your phobia? Come on. <coughs> Nothing. <coughs> oh, come along. There must be... There must be something that you're actually afraid of. There must... What? <gasps> He's afraid of the dark. <coughs> you're not? <coughs> Well, uh, Sooty says you are. <coughs> you're not? <coughs> uh, Sooty says you are. <coughs> now, now listen, 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 listen. If you're not afraid of the dark, there's something I want you to do, Sweep. <coughs> Would you just go down into the cellar for me? <coughs> yes, the cellar. You know that, uh, you know that dark cellar, Sweep? You know the, the very dark cellar? <coughs> you know the cellar that is so dark that you can't see your hand in front of your face? You know the pitch black cellar? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of it. You were right, so he is afraid of that. Sweet. Don't worry. Now, don't worry. I was only kidding. And don't worry about being afraid either, because it's only a phobia that you've got. It's just like, well, it's just like Mo with her mice. What? Oh, yes, and Sue with her spiders. That's right. Is there any cure? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, apparently. They can do wonderful things with hypnotism. But then, of course, I don't know how to hypnotise people. Well, it's true, I don't know the first thing about hypnotism, but that didn't stop Sooty from rushing off and reading up on the subject. How to hypnotise. And it didn't stop Sweep from being eager to volunteer to be Sooty's first victim. Um, a patient. Now... All you have to do, says Sooty, is watch the end of the wand. Just keep watching the end of the wand, sweet.
Magically hypnotized. So he's done it. With the help of his magical powers, he's managed to hit. You are no longer afraid of the dark, says Sooty. Do you understand? <laughs> wow! This is sensational. Sooty is very pleased with his success. In fact, he's so pleased that he decides to have a little bit of fun while Sweep is under the influence. Sooty tells Sweep that when he wakes up from being hypnotized, he will no longer be afraid of the dark. But in addition, he tells him that each and every time Sweep hears the word jodpers mentioned, he will think that he's a chicken. And he will act like a chicken. Do you understand? asks Sooty. <laughs> I understand, says Sweep. Sweep, yes. Success? What do you mean? Such is cured, you. Using hypnotism. You're not afraid of the dark now. Ah, are you sure, Sweep? You've been down the cellar? What, the dark cellar? And? You went into the stock cupboard. Sweep, you didn't. Or oh, that really spooky dark one under the stairs. Wow! Well, in that case, it really does seem as if Sooty has managed to cure you. I wonder if he could cure me of my fear of spiders. You're certain he can? Well, I suppose it's worth a try. I'll see you later, Sweep. What? What's that in the bath? Oh, just some washing I'm doing, Sweep. Actually, it's an old pair of jodpers. Yes, jodpers. Bye. Whenever you hear the word jodpers, you will act like a chicken. to Sooty and his hypnotism. But this is incredible, Sue. I mean, you are absolutely terrified of spiders. Yes, well, you can believe what you like. Now, you simply must excuse me because I've got to feed Terry. Terry? Yes, Terry the tarantula. He's my new pet spider. Wh He's oh. lovely, isn't he, Matthew? Is it... Is that a real tarantula yes. spider? Yes. Oh, oh, no, he's horrible. No, 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 look, he's moving his leg. Take, take him away. Take him to the desk. Quickly. Certainly. Move move him, Sue. Move Come him. Come along, little Terry oh. kid. Oh, we uh, know when we're not wanted. Oh, oh dear. But, Sooty, this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, you have cured Sue of her fear of spiders. And also you've cured Sweep of his fear of the dark. Uh, uh, Sue? Yes, Matthew? Oh, what is that on your head? Oh, it's lovely, Terrykins. Oh, stop tickling, Terry. Oh. What is it anyway, Matthew? Well, I was... A... Oof. I was just going to ask, have you seen Sweep anywhere? Well, the last time I saw him, he was sitting on a pile of eggs in the darkened airing cupboard. Thank you. Sitting on a pile of eggs? At... Oh, well, never mind. Look, Sooty, I was just going to say, um, I was wondering if you could use your, your magical hypnotic powers to, you know, cure me of my phobia. What? wouldn't tell you what it was before. Well, no, but that was before all this success that you're having. What is it? What, the phobia? Well, uh, it's a bit silly. I don't normally like to talk about it, but th there is something, actually, which I'm really, really frightened of, and it's, um, it's birds. Am I kidding? No, I'm not kidding. As a matter of fact, if there was a bird in this shop right now, I would scream the place down. I'm not kidding. Sue, mm -hmm. that's a thing you didn't know about me, isn't it? No, I 
didn't, Matthew. Well, it's absolutely true, Sue. As a matter of fact, if there was a bird in this place right now, I would go completely bananas. Mm. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, I think we have established beyond any reasonable doubt that I am, in fact, terrified of birds. So, so please, Sooty, would you use your magical hypnotic powers to cure me? You will? Hey, this is great. This is absolutely fun. Oh, I see. You use a magic wand to put your subjects under, do you? Uh, listen, listen, listen. There may be a small problem. Because I have read somewhere that the more intelligent the subject, that's me, the longer it will take to hypnotise them. So we, we could be here for quite some time. And so there was me, hypnotised. And there was Sooty telling me that I would never again be afraid of birds. I will never again be afraid of birds. But then that naughty little bear went on to tell me that when I woke up, every time that I heard the word congratulations, I would start to act as if I were a mouse. I will start to act as if I am a mouse. Cooey! What? It's me again. What? More for a market. Oh, the... There's a bell, Sissy. Quick, customers, customers. Uh, oh, hello, Mo. So, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling myself at the moment. I was away with the fairies. Oh, I was watching you through the window, <sighs> miles away you were, off in a trance. Well, that's true, actually, because Sooty has just hypnotised me. Really? Oh, yes. And if it's worked, I will never, ever, ever be afraid of birds ever again. Oh, that is good, because it means you can have this. What's that? Just a little present from me. Just oh. my way of saying sorry for what happened earlier. All that screaming and oh, that, you know. Oh, you need to bother. Who's a Chrissy Collin, then? <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a minute, just a minute. Look at me, look at me. I'm holding a bird, I'm holding it, and I'm not frightened. I'm cured! Oh, I'm completely cured! That is good news! It is! I'm afraid I'm still <sighs> terrified of mice, but it's very good for you, Matthew. Yes. Congratulations. Pardon? I said congratulations. That's what I thought you said. Oh, oh uh, here, here, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not sure, actually, but I seem to be, uh, I seem to be oh. pretending to be oh, something. No. Ah, cheese, oh. cheese. Oh, I don't think I like this. <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> Matthew? Well, I'm not sure, but I, I think I may be turning into a six-foot mouse. A six-foot mouse? <gasps> a six-foot mouse! Hey! Ah! So you're all right now, Sue. Mm. Well, you may be pleased to know that I got Sooty to put Sue and Sweep and myself back under the magical hypnotic <laughs> influence and return us to the way that we were before. Best not to meddle in things we don't understand. Yes, we can leave that to the experts, can't we, Matthew? <laughs> exactly, Sue. Uh, what, Sweet? What? Sooty never said what he was frightened of. No, you never told us what you were afraid of, Sooty. Nothing. Oh, that's rubbish. Everybody's afraid of something. Come on, what is it? Come on. You, you know what he's frightened of? Well, go on, then. What is he afraid of? Apparently, he is frightened... What's that? A custard pie? He's not afraid of custard pies. Oh, I think he is, Matthew. Look, he's shaking all over. Hmm. Well, that's because he knows what's coming next. Do you? <laughs> Look at that. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Look at the state of you. You got to for me.
along, little sweet. Give it back to me. You haven't got it? Well, you had it a minute ago, sweep. Oh, sooty, have you got it? Oh, where have you hidden it? Isn't it here? Oh, dear, what a way to start the day. Sooty and Sweep are teasing poor old Sue. They've taken something that belongs to her, and they won't give it back. I wonder what it is. Come on now, boys, this is about as funny as one of Matthew's jokes, which isn't funny at all, actually. Now, one of you's got it, I'm sure. <gasps> oh, there it is. Oh, Sweet, Sweet, please be careful with it. No, don't damage it, will you? It, it's very, very delicate. Now, just... Just throw it down. Oh. Oh, sweet! Oh, give that thing back, Sophie. Come here! Well, we're still no wiser, are we? I mean, whatever it is, it's obviously very important to Sue, but the question is, what on earth is it? Give it back. Oh, please don't be so horrible. Just, just give it back, please, Sophie. Sophie, give it back! Oh, now, now come along, boys. Enough's enough. Please, let me have it back, Sooty. Oh, give it back to me. Where is he? Where's that bear? You don't know? Well, I don't see what's so funny, sweet. And who are you waving at? Oh, Sooty, Sooty, oh, please, don't be mean. Throw it down to me, please. Oh, Sooty. Oh, honestly, boys are horrible. I'm going to see Matthew. Well, that's done it. They've really upset Sue now, but the question still remains, what is she so upset about? I mean, what exactly do you think this is? <sighs> Lovely day. Lovely day. <sighs> oh, hello. I was just saying, what a lovely day it is. Do you know it's the sort of day when everything is at peace? I'll spifflicate that teddy bear one day, so help me. And as for that dog, when I've finished with him, it'll give a whole new meaning to the phrase dog food. Well, so much for peace. Uh, Sue, what is the problem? Oh, What's wrong? Oh, it's them, Matthew. They've taken something from me and they won't give it back. Oh. And they keep calling oh. me a softy. Oh, all right, Sue, all right. Well, what have they taken? Well, it's my... it's my... It, it's... Oh. yes, it's your what? What? It's my... you know... Uh, no, sir, actually, I'm at a complete loss. What is it that Sooty and Sweep have taken from you? Well, it, it, it's my... Yes, yes, yes. Can I whisper to you, Matthew? Uh, yes, yes, whisper. Oh, it's your squaffy! <gasps> it's Sue's squaffy! They've taken her squaffy! Yes, they have, but there's no need to shout about it. Oh, no, all right, Sue, but I think there is a need to explain about it. No, no, yeah, no. Look, you see, Sue's got this piece of material. Oh. Well, well, actually, it's several pieces of material. They're all sort of knotted together. And oh, she's had it since she was very, very small. And she takes it absolutely everywhere with her. And oh, for some strange reason, and nobody knows quite why, she calls it her squaffy. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, Matthew, for embarrassing me in front of several million people. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Sue, sorry. Uh, she doesn't really like people to know about it. Sorry, Sue, uh, don't worry, leave it to me, I'll get your squaffy back for you. Actually, you should see this squaffy. <laughs> it's, all, it's all sort of... Oh, you have seen it. Have you? Uh, hang on, a minute. Sooty, Sooty, please stop diddling with, with your spoon. It's breakfast time. Listen, have you two used the bathroom? Yes. And have you both cleaned your teeth? And have you both washed behind your ears? Yeah. Well, all oh, right. Come on, Scampy. Good. I'm glad you're here because it's breakfast time. Okay. Uh, Matthew. Oh, what, Sue? Have you got it yet? Um, have I got what, Sue? Do you know my uh, my squaffy? What? You say you wanted some coffee? No. Have you got my thing back from the boys yet? Oh, you're squaffy! Oh. So, no, sorry, Sue, I haven't got that yet. I'll get it for you after breakfast, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. really? I just ask one simple favour and you forget. Oh. Come on, Scampy, you're my friend. Come and help me look. I'll give you a sweetie if you do. You see, it's a bit like a game of hide-and-seek, really, Scampy. They've hidden something and we're trying to seek it out. Do you understand? Right. I'll start down there, and I want you to let me know if you see anything interesting, OK? Now, where would they hide it? What I've got to try and do is to think like they do, to try and get inside their mind. Mind you, if I got inside Sweep's mind, it would be like climbing into a vacuum flask. What? 
Have you found something interesting, Scampy? Well, what is it? Let me see. What? What's this? Oh, yuck, Scampy. It's an old jelly baby. It's got its head bitten off and it's covered in fluff. You'll share it with me? Oh, no. No, find us keepers, as they say. You're welcome to it. Now, keep looking. And remember, we're not looking for sweeties. We're looking for where they've hidden my, um... Well, my, uh... Well, just get looking, Scampy. Aha! Now, this looks promising. Come and give me a hand, Scampy. You know, I bet it's in here. It wasn't even hidden very well after all. Ha <laughs> ha! Serves them right. Just wait until they learn how quickly we found it. That'll give them a shock. Now, let me just get this lid off. <laughs> oh! oh! Really? Those two, they're forever playing tricks on me. I'll get my own back one day, though. Just you wait and see. Scampy? Scampy, where are you? Ah, there you are. What? There's something interesting under Sweep's bed? Well, fetch it out, then. Well, I dread to think what it is, but I... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's Squaffy! Oh, my very own little Squaffy, are you all right? Did they hurt you? Did they? What? There's something else interesting under there. Well, what is it, Scampy? Oh, yuck! What on earth is this that Sweep's been keeping under his bed? Just a minute, just a minute. There's a label here. Let me read it. This comforting blanket belongs to Sweep. It is called Mr. Puppy. <gasps> a comforting blanket belonging to Sweep, eh? And it's called Mr. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that knocks spots off Squaffy. Excuse me, Scampy. I've got some business to attend to. <laughs> Mr. Puppy, eh? <laughs> That's it. Now, gen gently, sweet. Gently. Just ease it in there, OK? Just ease it in. Uh, uh, they're OK now. But, oh, hi, Sue. Had any joy? Oh, yes. Deep joy, Matthew. Seldom have I tasted such sweet joy. Oh. Right. Well, if you want to taste something else that's sweet, uh, your meal's waiting in the kitchen, OK? Oh, Sue, what do you think to our pan display? Eh? Pretty good. Oh, Sweep yes. and I have taken absolutely ages doing this, so are you impressed? Well, hmm? yes. I, in fact, I'm so impressed that I'd like to ask Sweep a question. Uh, not just at the moment, because we're a little bit busy. OK, just push it a little oh, bit. Oh, well, but... never mind. Perhaps you'd like to ask him instead, what? Matthew. What? Ask him what? Just ask him... Yes? How's Mr. Pup? <laughs> Mr. Puppy, the display, never mind the display, Sweep. Come on, this is, this is much more interesting. Mr. Puppy, eh? Look, oh, look at this. This comforting blanket belongs to Sweep. It is called Mr. Puppy, a comforting blanket. Give it back. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not quite as easy as that, is it, Sweep? Give it back. No I, no, I won't give it back because you wouldn't give Sue hers back, would you? Oh, hello, Sooty. What's all the noise? Don't worry, it's just Sweep's pride, that's all. Actually, there's somebody that I want you to meet. I would like you to meet Mr. Puppy. What on earth is it? Well, it's Sweep's comforting blanket. It's just like Sue Squaffy. Give it back. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, he gets quite excited when somebody's got hold of Mr. Puppy, doesn't he? Give it back. No, Sweep, you don't want this. You don't want this. Phew, I certainly don't want it. No, it's a smelly old piece of rag. You don't want that. I'll find you something much, much nicer. OK, let's have a look in the drawer. Here is it. Oh, now this. Now this is a nice piece of cloth, Sweep. And Sweep will like this. There you are. That's for you, Sweep, OK? You don't want it? He doesn't want it, Sooty. You can have it. Go on. You want Mr. Puppy? He wants Mr. Puppy. No, you don't want Mr. Puppy. Let me find you something else. There's another one in the drawer. Hang on. Oh, now this. This is a... Oh, what a lovely piece of cloth. Sweep's going to like this one. Have that, Sweep. Go on. He doesn't want it. Have it. He wants Mr. Puppy. Nobody wants Mr. Puppy. Let's see what else is in the drawer. I'm sure there's a... Ah, yes, there's something else. But... Oh, God. I'll tell you, well, you're going to want this one because this is almost as disgusting as Mr. Puppy is. Put it, put it down, Sooty. You can have, put it, put it down. Put, put it down. Look, would you like, would you let go? Sooty, please let go. No, no, don't, don't do it. You, would you let go? Go ahead. 
What you? What is the fuss about? What am I gonna stop? What is? Man, will you let go? I don't know what all the fuss was about. It's only a dirty, horrible piece of cloth. I can't. What? What sweep? There's a label on it. Oh, he's right. There's a label. But this is Sooty's special comforting cloth. He calls it his softy smoother. This is your comforter, isn't it, Sooty? Yes. After all the fuss, it seems that he's got a comforter as well. Oi! Hello. Fancy that. After all that fuss, it seems that Sooty's actually got a comforting cloth of his own. Mind you, not that there's anything wrong with having something, well, you know, something warm and lovable and comforting around. Plenty of people do it. And not just children either, grown ups too. As a matter of fact, I. I mean, um, a friend of mine, I, actually, an extremely good friend of mine, he's. Oh, Sooty's here. I, I'll, I'll tell you about it later. You've got the cloth, Sooty. Um, it's, a, it's not your softy smoother, is it? No. It's not Sue Squaffy, is it? No. Well, I can certainly tell it's not Mr. Puppy. Uh, perhaps I'd better explain what we're doing. You see. We've decided that we'll come out and wash the camper van. We'd put Scampi in charge whilst the shop's not very busy, and we're actually in charge of the polishing department, aren't we, Sooty? Well, Sooty's putting the polish on, and uh, I'm going to polish it off with this duster. So, can you make a start, Sooty? Put some polish on the roof. Off you go. Uh, 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 just a minute, just a minute. Come over here. That was your first mistake. But you didn't shake the bottle, did you? You should always shake polish up. Go on, shake it up. You see, it doesn't really understand. Hang, just... just Whoa, whoa, just a minute, just a minute. Put it down, put it down, put it down. I said shake it up. Don't dance with it. Go on, just, that's it. And put a bit of energy into it. For good. <laughs> yes. Have I seen Matthew anywhere? I am Matthew. I'm covered in... Polish! That's why you can't recognise me! Do I want buffing up? No, I do not want buffing up! Go and get Sue and get another cloth. Go on, I'll use this one to clean myself off. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm covered in car polish. I'm it's here, Matthew! All... all right, Sue. Hang on a minute. Have, have you got the other cloth? Yes. It's only good. We... Ah oh, what on earth is it? That's my doff! Your doff? Oh, Mr. Doff, Mr. Doff! Oh, oh, it's so long since I've seen... Don't you ever disappear again like that, ever again. Oh, Matthew, Doffy, Doffy, Matthew, Doffy. Matthew, you, you mean that you've got a comforter just like the rest of us? Uh, no. Well, I mean, not, not really so. Well, it's different. Well. It's different for me. No, no, it's different because I don't... I mean, I don't need this. It's just a silly old blanket. I mean, oh, I've got my Doff back. Oh. <laughs> Sweep! Look, I've got my doff back! <laughs> not for long. What do you mean, not for long? No, 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 don't do that. He's taken my doff. He's a... It's not the same without it. Sooty, come here. Sooty, please do something. Get my doff back. Go on, do something, Sue. Please, please. Oh, please, give it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got it back. They gave me my doff back. And Sooty's got his softy smoother. <laughs> and Sweep's got Mr. Puppy. And I've got my Squaffy back. <gasps> Matthew? Mm, what, Sue? What? Are we unusual? Beg your pardon? What do you mean unusual? Well, I mean, are we strange in any way? You know, having these, well, these, um, these... Comforters, Sue? Comforters, yes. Well, no, not really. I mean, look, thousands of children have got things like this. I mean, either an old piece of cloth or a bit of blanket they take round with them. Something soft and warm, lovable, comforting. Just think about it. Thousands of people all needing something soft and warm and comfortable and lovable. Imagine if we could supply that need. Yes, that's exactly what I was imagining. Excuse me, I'm going to find little cousin Scampy because I've got an idea. Really? Wow. Sue's got an idea. Hey, stand by, Beds. There's customers coming. Yeah, we'll have what we want. Hey, oh, oh. hey, look, look who it is. <laughs> You're right, it's Rod, Jane, and Freddy. Matthew Corbin, I wow. don't believe it. And Sooty and Sweep are all mates. How are you? Well, we're fine. What can we do for you? Well, we were looking for. 
Oh, what's that? Uh, sorry, it's not for sale, Jane. Oh. It's his... Uh, don't tell him, Sweep, please. Well, well, what is it, Sweep? <laughs> Matthew's doff? Oh, you told <laughs> them, Sweep! All right, it's my comforting cloth. Oh. Oh, I used to have one of those. Did you? I used to call it a dewey. <laughs> a a dewey? dewey? Yes, it was a dewey. A dewey? Yes, it, it was the blanket I used to get wrapped up in as a baby. I used to take it everywhere. Oh, and I had a Mr. Bun, the rabbit. Oh, I had him for ages. I was really sorry when I lost him. I can still remember, though it seems so long ago. I had a little comforter. I took it wherever I'd go. It was soft and warm. It was safe and sound. That's how it had to be. Oh, Sue! Oh. Hey, look who's here. Look, it's Rod, Jane and oh. Freddy. Hello, Hello Sue. Sue. Where have you been? <laughs> oh, well, we were just talking about people wanting things that are soft, comfortable and lovable, so Scampi and I used the knitting machine and we made something. Uh, what did you make, Sue? Oh, you don't want to see. Yes, we do. Yes. Come on, show us. Come well, on. I've made a knitted cuddly sweep, Sooty oh. and Sue. Oh. oh. Oh, Sue. They're beautiful. Look, boys. Sue and a sweep and, and a sooty. Oh, you are clever, Sue. Yes, I'll second that, Sue. You are very clever indeed. It was just like a friend. It was never far away. It was all. Wasn't it nice to see Jane's face when she saw those puppets that you and Scampi knitted, Sue? Yes, she liked them, didn't she? She loved them? Well, she certainly seemed to do. Did they buy all three? Well, um, they took all three, but to be honest with you, I've known Rod, Jane and Freddy for so long that I didn't have the heart to charge them. Oh, you're such a big softy, Matthew. And because you are, I've knitted something for you as well. What? What have you... Hey, <laughs> look, that's... That's Rod! Rod? Look, it's a... Oh, and Jane as well. That's wonderful, Sue. Here's Freddy. And Freddy as well. Hey, they are fantastic. I think we better say goodbye. All together. Bye bye, bye, bye everybody. Bye bye. bye. Tell you what, Sue, you you can you can borrow Freddy.